So you join us here at the TCR event on Oka Racing Circuit. Dry, a little bit blustery, and the caterums have just finished their 310 hour session. So what we're going to do is jump aboard the golf buggy and we're going to do a little tour of the paddock all the way down the bottom of paddock to here where there is nothing but caterums as far as the eye can see. Some of the 270 cars that have been out in an earlier session here. We've got the 420 cars as well. And you might have seen on our Facebook page and Twitter feeds that we spoke to some of these guys yesterday and they're absolutely buzzing and loving the fact that not kills reverse direction. Some of the guys have never been here before. So it's a completely new circuit to them anyway. But the guys that have been here, well, they've got to treat it like they don't know what Knock Hill is. We're right in the furthest away point of Paddock 2 now. Past the UPE Motorsport guys there. A bit of, bit of a welding job to do at one of their cars yesterday. Slight off in one of the sessions for one of those cars. Broke the mounting point for the steering rack. So there was quite a bit of repair work getting done in one of the local workshops. Alan Osborne reverses his 310R back into his garage there. And we come up past where we had an interview with quite a few people yesterday, the big DPR team. And the MB guys back there as well. Caterham, we've got a lovely hospitality suite up here actually on the right hand side, where all the drivers can make themselves at home. But as you can see, there's nothing but caterums all the way down the bottom of Parrot 2 and all the way up into the front end of Parrot 2 as we make our way back up now towards the main gate, front of house. And this is us now coming back into Paddock 1 area where TCR find herself at home. Some friendly faces from the paddock there. And there's a man wearing a pair of shorts here as well. That's very, very impressive. So back into Paddock 1 we come. TCR guys down the bottom beside the, the Champions Clubhouse here. If you're at Knockhill and you fancy a little bit of food or drink, pop into the Champions Clubhouse. And then we have Formula Ford and Mazda up the other end of the paddock towards Canaires. Again, if it's food you're after, that's definitely a place to be. Past the main refueling guys. Vital equipment have got a big presence in the heart of the paddock here. And then we're into Formula Ford land. We've got Joey Foster on our left-hand side. We just drifted past there. He's in there with Don Hardman. Cliff Dempsey racing here on our right-hand side, just parked up beside GBR, the local guys. Seb Melrose and Ross Martin running in that team this weekend. We've also got Neil Broom, local guy there, and a few of these MX-5s. Interesting stuff about the Mazda MX-5 this weekend is the return of Lewis Carter to racing. Really, really looking forward to seeing Lewis back in a race car. And he's back in one of these Super MX-5s as well. So it should be good to see how he gets on. A fast man in former GT racing. And a fast man when it comes to BMW Compact Cups. Now, some of the caterums here are going through scrutineering on our left-hand side. So that's why they're all lined up like that. They will get into scrutineers, make sure they're all nice and safe and ready to go. And they'll probably put themselves on the scales as well, because that's quite an important part. And everybody has been using the, the scales as much as they possibly can to make sure they're all at the perfect weight. So here we come back past the front of the Vital Equipment marquee, and we've got Pyro Motorsport down here on our right-hand side, and I can see Finlay Crocker. So why not stop and speak to the Verizon Connect driver, and let's see exactly what Finlay's got to say. Because we, we did catch up with you this morning, Finlay, uh -huh. and we're now just going to doorstep you, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, hope, I hope you're okay with that. But yep. first of all, the car's up the back there. It's on the setup scales and the floor. How did your practice one and practice two go? Uh, really good. Um, fourth and fifth position-wise, and I think we ended up, we were one of a group that were like a couple of tenths separating second and fifth, I think. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was all right. We've made some changes to the car. We ran the first session with 40 kilos of ballast in it just to see how much I need to lose to try and then be competitive and work out if it makes a difference, um, and it does, but I'm not losing it, so... Um, overnight anyway oh you're right <laughs> no um no it's uh, it's it's good actually we've there's a couple of things we need to to, to work on and drive out the corners is uh, is not brilliant but the car from um clark's to like duffus is it's brilliant really really runs the curbs really well and it's good you said you were you've driven an old car are you trying to make the new car feel like the old car or are you just trying to develop a new car to make it feel nice um, I mean, I've driven the old car for two years, so you get comfortable with it. But this one, we we just we need to work on this car and its own merits. And um, it should be a better car somewhere like here in terms of how it does ride curbs. Um, so, yeah, we're heading in the right direction. And, you know, the driver needs to pull his finger out. And there was a description earlier on about what I need to do, but we won't use that. So, um, 
Uh, no, we'd like to put this out if possible, you know. Uh, no, 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 that's fine. Um, no, it's it's good. I think uh, whether things will keep getting quicker. I mean, uh, Lloyd's time's really, really good. Um, so I don't know what he's done to do that, but that's, uh, yeah. That'll well, be. he had new rubber on for FP2 there, so I don't know if that's, that, that's something that helped. Yeah, it, it, what we interesting, we noticed that we struggled to get the, the, the rubber to switch on quickly enough. Um, you know, normally you'll go out, you'll stick these on, You'll do a lap, and certainly your second lap passed is normally bang. And with these, it's been three or four laps before we're getting the best, best out of them. So, um, yeah, see how we go. Right, cool, we'll catch up with later on. Good, good luck, Finlay. Right, walk this way. We're just going to nip in and see if we can catch a word with Aidan Moffat. We'll do my Annika Rice bit. We'll just dive through this little door here. In we come. Try not to stand on that floor as you come through there, Ian. And let's see if we could find where Aidan is. A lot of things happening in here just now. We'll push our way past the Scrutineers and Alan Potts, and we'll try and find Aidan Moffat. And we come here up the stairs. Ah, here he is, lying down inside his truck. He'll sit up for us because he's a good lad. Right then, we missed you this morning. Unfortunately, um, things didn't really go to plan for you. There was a small issue out there. Can you, can you, can you give us the highlights of it? Or edited highlights, anyway. Ah, we're just uh, struggling with the... The car a little bit, um, struggling with the, the front end grip, uh, just the way the nature of the car. Uh, you see, in the world, uh, the boys are struggling with the car as well. It's we knew that was the case. The car's it's just it's a lot of potential, but it's a lot of development needing done. Uh, so yeah, front end grips be an issue around here. I was using the brakes was locking the fronts up a lot. Um, so trying to to play with the brake balance, move it to the rear to try and stopped the car really, uh, coming into the chicane, just dabbed the brake and it kind of spat the car backwards, uh, down the chicane backwards, saved it, kind of just ran the grass a little bit to get out the way of a guy behind me and not kill be not kill, it just um, ripped the whole front end of the car off the second I touched the grass, so it's, yeah as well as, it's just the, 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 the run off here, it's pretty much non-existent in reverse and then if you touch the grass it's is that uh, that damp but it just digs in and destroys cars so that that was that yeah fixable for uh, for this afternoon we're going to see you back on track uh hopefully the the spare radiator we've been given the brand new one is leaking so um we'll see what happens the highs and lows of the tcr then we've just come from finley crocker who's absolutely beaming trying to get himself a little bit faster and we're going to get aiden we're going to make him smile somehow we'll get him back yeah, on track he'll, he'll be fast don't worry about that so there you go. That's a little tour of the paddock. We'll need to thank everybody for that. Right to the Caterhams, all the way back up into TCR land. Until next time, guys, take care and smile, Aidan. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>